Report Aaron with floating above the city. Now that was a really cool, like eclectic tune to say the least. Uh, vocally and instrumentally, it was uh, just a very solid tune. Yeah, those guys are really good players. Uh, really interesting arrangement. Um, I know Catherine's going to go nuts about the bass player. But <laughs> I will too. I would like his phone number. He is. Really good. Yeah, we were wondering where he was when we were recording. Uh, seriously, just top rate musicianship. And, and I have to say, the bass player, wow, I was just completely blown away. But the whole song was just awesome. I loved it. Well, yeah, so next up, we're going to get to another new one by Million Manders. This is off her newest EP called The Free EP. And the song's called Hole in Your Chest. Dig this. with hole in your chest now again she gave us another uh, another side of her vocal range and that was pretty impressive like i really enjoyed that tune i was thinking exactly the same thing and you know it's, we never know what we're going to get from her but it's always fabulous uh yeah such an expanse on her range and i think she can sing anything i love this one i like the the energy with it and also just the lyrics were very clever and just really catchy i loved it yeah i, I liked the band quite a bit it sounded like jimmy clips backup band oh yeah um it was very well done good musicianship and like you guys have said great vocals Right on. Well, before we get to the next song, um, I just want to bring this up because I've been reading the book and pretty close to getting finished now. 
Uh, I'm reading uh, the book uh, Who I Am on uh, Pete Townsend from The Who. Mm -hmm. And uh, initially, they actually weren't supposed to play Woodstock. But uh, Pete Townsend pretty much got duped into uh, signing for it. Because what had happened is he uh, was with one of the one of the managers. And he, they pretty much trapped him in his room and said, you know what? We're not going to let you out of here to sign saying, yes, we'll play Woodstock. And he's thinking to himself, like, you know what? No problem. I'll sign because the rest of the band's got to sign too. So I can't sign for all of them. So no problem. No worries. Guess what happened? One of the other managers signed for the rest of the band. So they got locked into Woodstock and not. So it wasn't supposed to be intentional. Oh. Uh, huh. Wow. They still played it at a good show, but they are describing it. And just all the empty cars, that sort of thing. And saying that, you know what? No. <clears throat> a lot of shows were a lot of shows were decent, but uh, Janis Joplin said no because of some of the stuff was going on. The way to way too long, there's the bad acid, that sort of thing. But with Janis Joplin, it said you know what? She still put on a good show, but by the time she got on, she was so like pumped full of alcohol and heroin that she almost didn't know where she was. Oh yeah, yeah, that was a problem with that. So, but otherwise, you know, he said it was uh, it was uh, interesting to say the least. <laughs> bet. Because there was, like like I said, there wasn't a whole lot uh, around. I mean, uh, everything was kind of like low, low scale. They weren't expecting a huge turnout like this. So it was uh, pretty impressive. And uh, just the more and more I read the book, the more and more it just more and more exciting because of all the people he ran into and met and that sort of thing. And uh, and something that uh, happened that was by his request, because what had happened is in, in uh, 67, they played uh, three shows of the film were uh, pretty much uh, um, playing uh, Tommy. Mm -hmm. and uh, he, uh, for some reason, wanted those uh, originals destroyed, so they were, and they could have made uh, some uh, pretty good uh, uh, releases now, but uh, he said that's one thing he's still kicking himself for, because he doesn't know why, but he said, you know what, I just didn't want to hear it anymore, so one of them destroyed. Huh. So, yeah. <laughs> what a shame. And uh, because of Keith Moon, they got, they've been kicked out of, they were kicked out of two hotels permanently. One was a Holiday Inn in uh, Florida, <laughs> and <laughs> which I told you about, and it was in New York. And what had happened is <clears throat> Keith Moon had tree bombs, and he was tossing them into the elevator, which contained the manager's wife. Oh, no. So that uh, put a quick end to that uh, to their stay at that hotel. <laughs> yeah, that was a bad move. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, and that, some more interesting facts about the Who. So <laughs> next up, we're gonna get to another new one off the new EP by Casual Agenda. This song is called Second Bite Tonight. Dig this. <laughs>
Casual Agenda that's out there. New EP that's second by tonight. Uh, really kind of pumped and full of energy. Like, love the vocals. And these guys are really cool. Like, I really enjoy their energy. Yeah, great energy. It's uh, got kind of a retro vibe for it for me. I remember playing music like that in the clubs in the 70s and 80s. Um, <laughs> great stuff. Really great stuff. I love the energy. Uh, I thought the musicianship was really quite good. The drummer was great. All right on. So next up, we're going to get to a new one by New Party Army. This one is called Anatolia Final. Oh, sorry. Anatolia. I think that's the way you pronounce it. So we'll go with that. <laughs> <Take this. laughs> Close enough. <laughs> yeah. 